Hello, I'm the Dad. Today I will tell you how to install the Homebrew Launcher on your Nintendo 3DS. At first you need a Nintendo 3DS which is running the firmware 9.2.0-20 or an earlier version. If you, have if you have a system software which is higher than this one, you will most likely not be able to do this. Okay, I've got one with the most recent firmware. So, let's get started. The first important thing is, you need an exploit game, which is this one, Cubic Ninja. You can buy it as a retail version, like I did. And you really have to have this game, you cannot do it without the game. So, you need this game, and if you have this game, you have to put a new Nintendo 3DS. Then after you did this, it should appear on your 3DS. Okay. Next thing, you need an SD card for your 3DS. You most likely will have one because Nintendo ships the 3DS with a Nintendo now with an SD card. Okay. Now the thing is you have to go to this website, smilium.net slash ninj hacks or ninja hacks without an A. And on that um, website, you pretty much have to download this. I would recommend the Homebrew Starter Kit, which will look like this. You will have a starter.zip, and in there, you have two things the boot file and the 3ds folder. But now how to get the exploit working on your device? Pretty simple. You see this, well, table, I guess. You select what kind of 3ds you have, like the old 3ds or the new 3ds. The new one is currently only available in Asia and Australia and therefore it has a J for Japanese or an E for European because Australia is in the PAL region so they have European devices. I have an old 3DS and it's running the version 9.2.0.20 and it's a European device. Okay, so what should we do now? I press submit and we get this QR code. Now we have to scan the QR code with our 3DS from with in the Cubix game. So I would start Cubix. We go to create, then we go to QR code. And we wait, and then we go to scan QR code. So if we do this, we should be able to scan the QR code. It might take a while, but if the 3DS successfully scans the QR code, something should happen. And there we go. You see, it looks like it crashed, but it didn't. Now the Smilum exploit can be installed. If you press A, it will install something in the save game of Cubix. So the next time you want to run this, you just have to click on um, QR code, but you don't have to scan it. So you only need the website once. If you did this, as you can see, you're now on the homebrew launcher. And there are a few homebrews which are pre-installed because we chose the homebrew starter kit. Example this cube demonstration. And so on. Usually you can press B or start or the home button to return to the homebrew menu. And if this does not work, just keep power pressed. It should let you return to the main menu. If you're in the homebrew launcher and you press start, you will see that you can reboot your device in 
into stock, so pretty much unhacked. And this hack has nothing inside of the 3ds itself. So all the necessary files are either in the Cubic Ninja safe game or on your SD card. So if you break your 3ds, remove the SD card, remove Cubic, and they can't see that you used this. Keep in mind that a firmware update will definitely patch this. And if you own the digital version from the eShop, that an update for the game can also patch it. The retail version cannot be patched except via firmware update. And as you can see, press A, create, QR code, and that's it. We don't have to rescan it. This is a really nice thing. It kind of reminds me of the Nintendo Wii hacks. So, yeah. If you're interested in this, be sure to get the game. Be sure that your 3DS is not too new. Well, that sounds stupid. Be sure that the farmer of the of your 3DS is well. Yeah, whatever. Just be sure that the farmer is not above the one I've showed you in the video, because any newer one can patch this. So if you want to have fun with the homebrew launcher. Just follow what I just showed you, it's pretty easy, it's not complicated, you just have to get the game and if you're lucky you get it for cheap money, if you're unlucky you will have to pay a bit for it, but whatever, you can run homebrew on your 3DS, you can even run on something that looks like Minecraft and it even supports 3D, it looks weird on camera but it supports 3D, so yeah. I'm that and see you soon.